He was the leader of one of the most famous music groups in the 1970s. He was known publicly for being soft-spoken and helped shape the careers of many artists we know today. He was Harold Melvin. Harold Melvin was the leader of the rhythm and blue group, Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes, before called the Charlemagnes. He also helped recruit an unknown drummer from his hometown of Philadelphia. The man who Harold Melvin molded was a rough voice drummer named Teddy Pendergrass and to a lead singer on the hits Wake Up Everybody and If You Don't Know Me By Now and more hits. Harold Melvin was born on June 25, 1939 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was one of the major forces behind the well-orchestrated soul and sound that developed in the 1970s at Philadelphia International Records run by Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff. Mr. Melvin formed his group in the 1950s and later had hits like My Hero, Get Out, and I Miss You. But its great success came after Mr. Pendergrass was recruited in the 1970s. Melvin continued to receive top billing with the Blue Notes and Teddy Pendergrass, who left in 1976 for his solo career. Pendergrass was partially paralyzed in a 1982 auto accident, but had to continue to perform. We also explain more about Pendergrass and Melvin's feud in our Teddy Pendergrass video. Pendergrass was often mistaken for being Harold Melvin throughout the public since he was the lead singer and he was not compensated for his work. After Pendergrass's departure, Harold Melvin, who choreographed and recruited many of the music groups, dance steps, and artists, continued to perform with the Blue Notes until the 1990s. A stroke in July 1996 had left Mr. Melvin bedridden and was unable to speak. He died on Monday, March 24, 1997. He was 57 years old. The cause of his death was probably another stroke, said his doctor, Dale Singer. At the time of his death, he was survived by his wife, Ovalia, two daughters, and three sons. Harold Melvin also shaped the start of the solo careers of two other former group members, Billy Paul and Bunny Seidler. We will have videos on Billy Paul and Teddy Pendergrass in the description. Please check them out in the description and subscribe to our channel to be notified of the latest videos. Now we will show you his resting place. Here we are at Ivy Hill Cemetery. We are going to show you how to find Harold Melvin's unmarked grave. You will need to drive around the mausoleum section of the cemetery and this video will guide you to the specific spot and location so you will know how to track him. He is located specifically in the section P in the cemetery. When you see the headstone of the military veteran Rodman L. Moore Sr., then you are in the precise right location. Go on the right side of the vacant lot of Moore's headstone, and then this is the resting place of Harold Melvin. He is literally in front of the tree in a vacant lot. We were just want to inform you that we are aware that Harold Melvin's daughter, Trudy Melvin, passed away in March 2020. We would like to send our condolences to the Melvin family and pay tribute in this video as we can. Thank you, Mr. Harold Melvin, for your creative works, talent, and musical genius. We give our condolences to your family. We want to show you that you are not forgotten by making this video and our viewers who are watching this video are proof of it. Rest in peace, Mr. Harold Melvin. Rest in peace.